Only hours away from the start of legal recre recreational marijuana sales in Nevada, but some are already raising questions about the laws of supply and demand. They're wondering what, if anything, will be done to prevent price gouging at dispensaries. 13 Action News investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin has some answers. Friday at midnight, things will change in Nevada. Recreational marijuana becomes legal July 1st. And dispensary owners say they've seen huge sales already with just medical marijuana in Nevada. The growth has been tremendous and we've seen a lot of increase, especially since we have reciprocity that we accept out of state, out of country medical cards coming to Nevada with our 40 million tourists a year. Michael Alvarez with Bloom anticipates the tourists will come for the recreational marijuana too. Brenda Gonzalez with Sahara Wellness is glad more people will be able to try her strains. I'm excited because we'll be able to get this product out to everybody. But that's causing some issues for dispensaries. Nevada law says marijuana has to be grown, tested, and sold in state, which means the supply is limited. And recreational marijuana is putting more pressure on that supply. We're doing everything we can to safeguard those prices. We have four dispensaries, so we buy in bulk. We have stronger buying power with buying so much quantity. Brenda and Michael want to make sure they can keep prices low, particularly for their medical marijuana customers who use the plant to treat their ailments. The prices for medical and recreational marijuana are the same. It's the state tax that's different. So how are they going to protect the prices and continue to serve medical marijuana clients? That's on Action News Live at 6. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. 13 Action News has put a list together of events around Las Vegas in connection with the launch of recreational marijuana sales. Just go to KTNV.com.